Hey guys, what's up? This is Bharat. You're watching iGAN, and we're here just before Mobile World Congress at the Samsung Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus launch. I've got both the phones here with me. They've been launched in a slurry of colors, but not a lot has changed from last year in terms of design. You've got similar designs with the same all infinity display that they have on the front. What's changed is what's on the inside and the cameras. That's what Samsung's really focusing on. So on the inside, you'll get a Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 chipset or an Exynos 9810 chipset. Now, this is what we'll possibly get in India, the Exynos variant, but you also get six gigabyte of RAM and 128 gigabyte of storage on one variant and 64 gigabyte of storage on the other. You also get SD card expandability with up to 400 gigabyte micro SD cards supported, made by Samsung themselves. What's also interesting is that Samsung's also playing a major focus on cameras. So these two phones are the first phones with an F1.5 aperture, really low as far as the industry standard was F1.7. Samsung's finally added the dual lens uh, system on their S series devices. So the S9 Plus finally gets a dual camera setup, whereas the S9 gets a single camera setup. You can get dual aperture shots, so it allows you to get better pictures in low light environments. So that is definitely a plus point. So with the camera's major focus on better live focus, you also have the new AR emoji mode, which is mostly like an emojis on iOS but Samsung has their own variant of it, more like Bitmojis mixed up with Animojis, so you get your own emoji for your own face. You can change the color, change the tones, change the hair, change the outfits, and then have certain stickers made for those AR emojis. What's also interesting is that now Samsung is paying a lot of focus on enterprise, and they also have AI across the board with uh, their new S9 and S9 Plus devices. You get Android 8, uh, with the latest Samsung skin out of the box, which also means that other devices, including Note 8, S8, all of these phones will start receiving Android 8, finally, uh, via an OTA update. So this is what's happening here in Barcelona. We started just before MWC. We have lots of things going on at MWC, which we'll be covering in the future. But this was a quick look at the new S9 and S9 Plus. This is Bharat. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.